So here we are again um, with one more collection of Polaroid cameras and here on the table just the box type. Yeah, this 600 and this type 600 of these cameras they use the 600 film. Um, and this is this box type. Yeah, this is one of the most, let's say, famous uh, type of cameras that Polaroid produced. So when you talk about Polaroid cameras, this is probably the first image that comes to people's mind, yeah, um, is this type of image, yeah, this type of box camera uh, with the flash bar here included already that you can like easily open like this. It's a really simple camera to operate, yeah, so you have here the button without flash if you want to take pictures without flash, the button with flash, of course for the flash you want to have to wait till it charges, if it's green it's ready to go with flash, the viewfinder here that it's actually not an SLR camera, yeah? so the viewfinder is not exactly what the lens is seeing, so you have some kind of offset here, of course they have some kind of compensation for this offset, I would say it's quite precise, so I never had any kind of issues like seeing something here and another image comes out in the, in the picture, I, I never had this kind of issues, and here a really short control um, in case you want the picture a bit lighter to this side or a bit darker to, to this side, depending on the conditions of light in the environment where you're taking the picture. Yeah? So I really like this type of a camera because it's simple, yeah, and um, the prices are also quite good, you know, it's not, let's say, a premium camera that Polaroid produced, so it's completely different, let's say, on the price level compared to the SX70, SLR680, or other premium cameras that were produced by the company. Yeah? What is interesting is that the prices here for this type specifically changes a lot according to the model. Yeah? So you can find um, these cameras here, for example, this type of models, you can find a lot of them in the market and you can find them for a really good price. The under 20 euros in a really good shape, you can buy one of these cameras. But if you get already some of like this type here that was a really rare model, it's not easy to find, it's called the Oslo version, to be really honest, I'm not sure if it was produced, uh, this, this Oslo version, it was produced by the Polaroid uh, company, original Polaroid company in the 80s, or it was just, let's say, a remake of the Polaroid originals. But it's really hard to find this, this, this specific camera in this color, in this in this model. They also did the other versions as Marrakesh version that it's completely pink, this one purple, so it's not easy to find them. And then the prices increase really significantly, yeah. Um, so let's start here from the beginning. I have like different also shapes, let's say in this way, you know, so they said they have some kind of different, uh, um, um, different shapes of the camera itself, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but here, for example, it's a bit more uh, uh, square, yeah, this was, let's say, the first model of these box cameras, it was produced in the 80s, got really famous, of course, later on, Polaroid did these ones that had these shapes that are a bit more round, yeah, you see already, like, significantly the difference between both, these ones are more 90s, yeah, and later on, they also kept producing this type, changing again the shapes. Yeah, so this is even more round, more, let's say, it looks a bit more, let's say, modern than the older ones. Yeah, and these were produced in the 2000s. Yeah, so let's say till the moment where Polaroid went bankrupt and uh, went out of the market. Yeah, to be really honest, these types from the 2000s are... It's not really my favorite type, yeah, I have this one here that I bought for 50 cents of euro, you know, uh, it has this handle here, it's broken, huh? uh, so I bought it because I just wanted to have one of these in my collection, but it's not one of my favorite cameras, yeah. Um, let's start with, let's say, explaining some kind of the models I have here. This one here, it's one of the simplest models, I just started disassembling it, so I still have some kind of components here to be disassembled. This I will do some kind of customization with this uh, camera. This is exactly the inner part, yeah? The only part that I could not disassemble till now, it was this flash 
uh, bar case here that I will disassemble, but it's already, let's say, completely out. And this case will be the case that I will customize. Yeah, change the color or make some kind of paintings on it and then assemble it again, yeah. Um, with the older versions, some of them, as for example, this one here for the brand Camel is also not that easy to find. A lot of them in Germany, actually. I'm not sure uh, if they were only in the German market, they were produced in the UK. Uh, but I don't know how was, let's say, the, the, the production that went to Germany or to other countries. But a lot of them you find in Germany. I cannot explain exactly the reason. But it's this Camel version. I like the design of it. Others are a bit easier to find. For example, this super color version in red. It's not that complicated to find it. You can also find it for a really good price. Of course, it depends a lot on what kind of conditions, how it looks like. This one came with the original box that it's not in the best shape, but it's also interesting inside. I have all the manual instructions of this camera of the original, yeah. Um, these versions here, it's also super colors, so in blue and yellow, also quite hard to find, to be honest, I think this one yellow, I found only one or two of these cameras at eBay, uh, so it's pretty rare, but you can still find them for a good price, you know. And then if you go to the next, let's say, type, to this different shape, I really like all of these cameras, to be honest, but one of my favorites is this one here. And the reason for that is this Lunay Tunes, um, the TAS camera, because the shape is completely different. It is the only Polaroid camera I know that they produce in a completely different shape. Yeah, as you can see here. Also the shutter button here, completely different. All the others, they are basically the same camera with a different design. Yeah, if you compare, for example, this Jazz camera from 96 with this Hello Kit camera, for example, they are basically the same camera, only with different colors. Uh, the different cover here, different design, but they are basically the same. And for this one, they had to produce, let's say, a bit of other components. Yeah, so for example, here it's completely different. Here, the shutter button. And I liked it so much that I have two of them. Yeah, so this is the cameras that, let's say, for me, it's, it's, it's really nice. I also have the original box of this TAS camera. Um, and yeah. Other um, accessories, for example, this Hello Kit one that it's really interesting. It was produced only for the Japanese market. So you can find them in Europe, yes. But let's say I think the ones that have the best shape still with original components, you will still have to import them from Japan if you'd like to have one of them. I could find them. Uh, this camera specifically is still in the original box with this, let's say, leather case that was also coming with the camera. Uh, so yeah, it was, let's say, quite interesting to, to have one of these in my, in my collection. Um, other interesting cameras here. Uh, this one here has a, this is the only one that I have that it's the autofocus camera. Yeah, so it has the sonar focus here, also really famous in Polaroid cameras. Developed this type of um, autofocus. It was developed by Polaroid also in the SLR 800, 680 cameras, in the SX70 uh, sonar um, cameras. And this is the only one that have the autofocus. Yeah? The others, they have the fixed focus. And in case you want to take a picture really um, close to the object, you can put this kind of extra plastic lens here. Yeah? So you can see here it's the same technology, really old technology, I would say, in uh, all the other cameras. Yeah, but they also work pretty well. You know, I don't really, to be honest, I don't see the necessity of having autofocus in these cameras. So when I take pictures with them, the pictures are pretty sharp, you know, really good quality. I think, let's say, reasonable quality for the Polaroid um, instant cameras. Yeah. Um, another one that I also like for me, it's also really rare, really hard to find, is this one here that it's completely in white. I also imported from Japan. It was not only for the Japanese market, you can find these in other countries, but it's really hard. So I don't really know how many of these were produced. I think from this collection that I have, this one is one of the hardest to find, yeah. The others, for example, as I mentioned, the super colors in yellow, 
this one here or this Barbie camera. It's also not easy to find them, but from time to time, if you are always, let's say, connected to eBay, you can find them. This one here, really complicated. I think I saw just this one once, and as soon as I saw it, I, I bought it. It was not a really good price. It was quite expensive, and uh, plus the importing taxes, but it's a camera that I, I really like. Yeah, so completely in white. I also have this one here that I also explained in another video about this camera. So it's kind of a demo camera. Yeah, you cannot use this for taking pictures. Uh, this also has the sonar um, autofocus, by the way. So it's exactly the same model as this one here. But it was produced by Polaroid just for the retailers, for the big shops that were selling Polaroid cameras to explain to the people how the camera looked like inside and it had some kind of banner next to it with the numbers here explaining which components uh, are correspondent to these to these numbers yeah so it's let's say a really i think collector's piece yeah because you cannot use this for taking pictures it's just for your shelf but it's a really interesting and also rare piece of the polaroid history yeah um i have also some empty films here just to, let's say that we can at least test some of these cameras, show how it works. You can open it here in this button. You open the compartment for the cartridge. This is empty now, so it's just the battery inside. Put the battery, when you close, it will already work to take out the first, um, the first layer that it's just the cover to protect the film. The viewfinder, we wait till the flash is ready and yes you can shoot with this button with flash and that's it yeah you don't have to wait always for the flash but then in this case you can take the picture without flash with this part of the button completely without flash it also works yeah it has the simple counter here to see how many pictures are still inside and that's it. And these adjustments that I said before, a bit darker, a bit brighter, according to the um, light condition in the environment where we're taking the picture. And if the object is really close to the lens, you can also put this extra, let's say, lenses here to make the picture sharp in this case. And yeah, that's it. So this is the collection. I think some of these cameras are really rare, not easy to find. But this is my collection of this type of box cameras, as this one here, for example, from Mickey Mouse, 90 years of Disneyland. So, yeah, thank you very much and see you next time.